Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you guys are new here. So for today's video, we're very much zoomed in. I thought it'd be kind of fun just to sit back, relax and test all the new makeup that I recently got in PR. I think there's like two or three items in here that I paid for myself, but the rest I actually got in PR. So you guys wanna see what my thoughts are on all these items. Are they actually any good? Well then definitely keep watching. So I want to start off and apologize if you guys hear a background noise. I have to film, but the apartment right next to me is doing a carpet cleaning because I think people moved out, so they're cleaning the carpet. So this is just going to be going on in the background. If you hear it, I do apologize. It's apartment life, but we're going to go ahead and dive right on in. So I'm going to start off with my brows. This is nothing really new. I've had this product for quite some time, but I did just recently get a backup in the mail from Benefit. This is their Benefit um, um, brow powder right here. I absolutely love this powder, but I also really love their Benefit Gimme Brow. That's one of my favorite freaking products. So we're just gonna quickly fill in the brows, but I hope everybody had a really good weekend. We had the oddest weekend here in Florida. We had this really weird like tropical storm, like storm <laughs> come through and all it did was pour rain this entire weekend so it's like really shitty weather the whole time and now it's absolutely cold now you guys might not think it's fully cold for y'all but it's cold here in florida like the high is only 54 degrees and like the low is like 42 or something like that that's so cold for us like we are definitely not used to the cold that's over here but it is so freaking cold that this morning we were walking the dogs and i was like oh my gosh <laughs> like this is freezing and then i looked at Corey before he went to work i was like want to go get some starbucks and of course i got an ice starbucks because you know but um yeah it has been just been such a like busy weekend like we went and got Corey his uh t-shirts for Paige's wedding so like we have my dress and we have Corey's two shirts he actually went to jc penny's to go find these dress shirts and let me tell y'all like I don't know. We, we haven't gone to JCPenney's in like forever, but legit they were doing um, buy one, get one free on like the men's like dress shirts. And they were doing, if you spent over $50, you get $20 off. So he bought two dress shirts for literally 30 bucks. I was like, can you freaking believe that? Like what a steal. So we have one that he's going to wear to Paige's wedding. And then we actually, actually have another wedding we're going to in March when my good friends is getting married and um we are actually going to use his other shirt for that wedding so i was actually really excited and then i had gone to macy's to go find a dress for Paige's wedding and i actually found two dresses so i got one for my friends in march and one for Paige's wedding i also had a great deal because i bought one for full price and the other one was completely like 50 to 60 percent off so it was like a great deal for both of us this past weekend we really did enjoy that um, cause we just still had to get shopping done rain or shy. That wasn't rain or shine. That was not going to stop us. We had to get a lot of the shopping done. I'm just going to quickly carve out my brow. I'm going to go in with the Jaclyn cosmetics. This is their concealer. Speaking of Jaclyn cosmetics, I know it's not officially announced like at all, but one of my good friends, Robin actually messaged me yesterday. He said, Hey, did you see Jaclyn's new video? And I said, no, why? She's like, I think you're right that Jaclyn is closing her brand or like Jaclyn Cosmetics is closing down because Jaclyn did a video where she's like, get ready with me. And she used like all glowy products. And in that video, she was using her Jaclyn Cosmetics products and she just kept saying, oh, I really love this product. I'm gonna, I don't know what I'm gonna do when this eventually goes away. And she just kept saying like products that she was using from her own brand where it's gonna go away. Like, I don't know what's gonna happen like when, we're, when I no longer have this and it's gone, it's completely gone. And it's like, it's all going away. So she's never said that her brand is going out of business, like at all. She's never stated it, but I've had a stinking feeling for quite some time because if you guys go on Ulta's website, they don't really have that many Jaclyn Cosmetics products on their website listed anymore. And a lot of stuff are sold out. But then if you go on Jaclyn Cosmetics website, everything is 50% off. Like everything is 50% off. And I'm just kind of like sad because you guys know how much I love the bourbon lip liner. So yes, I am stocking up on that because they are only $9 right now. But at the same time, it's like, kind of sad to see that happen. I mean, I don't really think that it was her decision, but I don't think it was fully her decision either because I know that she doesn't own Jaclyn Cosmetics. She just licensed her name, but like she was offered the rights to buy it back and she chose not to, which I respect, but like, I don't know. It's just kind of sad. I'm surprised she didn't announce it though. Like, I wonder why she hasn't. She just is pretty much implying that this is happening. So needless to say, it's just kind of sad to see this happening. I wonder if she ever will make an announcement or this will just close and she'll just be kind of quiet about it. We shall see 
what happens but i'm gonna go ahead and lay down my base and my eye i'm going with my p louise uh this is their rumor two shade i love this as my eye base but for eyeshadow today i'm actually gonna go in with the gourmand girls collaboration with doodle by the bunny this is the silent night palette now this actually does retail for 54.99 you guys can use code ally which will save you guys 10 percent off and this says that our silent night x doodles by the bunny palette was an idea that doodles by the bunny had some time ago and also our owner's favorite holiday melody so we had to bring it to life a non-traditional color story to take you through the holidays and into the new year keeping you cozy giving you festive looks and party pleasing pops of color now i absolutely love gourmand girls formula they have incredible formula the mattes are super pigmented and the shimmers just blend like a dream they have some of my absolute favorite 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 halloween palettes i'm so excited to dig into this today we're actually going to start off with the shade called silent night because i do want to do like a icy blue type of look just because I feel like this would be perfect because it's Christmas week and I just feel like this would be a perfect look for that. Speaking of Christmas week, um, I know you guys always notice that I'm going to be posting some repeats. Um, I absolutely love declutter marathons and I was actually inspired because my beautiful friend Miss Paige Corn did it a long time ago and I was inspired by her. So I did, it, I did it back in October and you guys seem to really enjoy it. So I figured I'm going to do the same thing this week. I'm going to post all my declutters into two long form videos because I feel like you guys seem to enjoy watching it and I enjoy creating it. And it's also Christmas week so now people right now are traveling, going home to see their family, doing last minute Christmas shopping, myself included. So I just feel like this is one of those like really simple, easy videos that I can just go ahead and put together this week. That way, I, that way you guys are not missing too much content from me. But I will be back next week. I do have some fun videos next week for you guys, but I am gonna be focusing on going up to Jacksonville this week for Paige's wedding, along with just getting Christmas and everything taken care of for when I come back. All right, so I'm gonna go into the Senj Beauty this is the E04 brush right here. You guys know how much I love Senj Beauty brushes. They're absolutely phenomenal. I think Angelica did such an incredible job. I'm so proud of her. If you guys did not know, she just recently launched a set of face brushes right here that you guys can use. They just went live along with a powder puff and a sponge, which I cannot wait to get my hands on. And uh, I think the brush quality is so freaking fantastic. I love the color. What I really love is just how soft these brushes are. They make it so easy for application. They blend out eyeshadow very effortlessly. And I've already had a chance to play with few of the face palettes and they are just the same quality as the eye brushes they are truly phenomenal i think angelica did a fantastic job and i'm really excited and i'm really really excited to see where her brand goes next so last week i talked to you guys about a little story a little incident that i've been having to deal with here at my apartment complex so this is the story of the poop bandit all right <laughs> and this is like the oddest oddest story I think I'm ever going to tell on my channel. So around Thanksgiving time, Corey and I would, we always get up really early because Corey has to go to work pretty early whenever he works at Disney. So we're just kind of used to waking up by 7 a.m. pretty much no later. Like this is what we're used to. We get up, we lay in bed for a little bit, we cuddle, we cuddle with our dogs and we just have like a nice little morning. And then Corey gets up and he gets the dogs ready for us to go on a walk. So he first noticed this and so did i but we noticed it separately so he went on a rock he went on a walk around the thanksgiving weekend and while he's walking the dogs because i was on the inside getting their breakfast all prepared getting them ready for the day getting Corey ready for work and everything that getting like everything he needs done like breakfast and coffee and all that type of stuff so he was walking the dogs and he sent me a video and said this is really weird and i said what is going on he sent me a video of a man that was walking along our street, like our street where their complex lives on, and he was going to the bushes and squatting in said bushes right outside the sign that says, welcome to my apartment complex, okay? And I thought that was very odd. And I said, you know, I've seen that same man the day before because I had to run to the post office and I saw the man the same day before coming out of those bushes, but I didn't really think too much of it at the time. And Corey goes, no, watch. So he videotapes this man because he thought this man looked quite suspicious. Walking over to these set of bushes. As you can see him as he's walking, starting to pull down his outfit. And uh, not kidding, he pulls the outfit down and he just sits there and starts squatting. So Corey's like, this is really weird. I don't know what he's doing. He goes, I think he might be taking a shit in the bushes. And I said, no fucking way. No way this, this grown ass man is taking a poop in the bushes so Corey watches him he gets done Corey stays a good bit of distance away 
he lifts, he stands back up, lifts back up his like pants and then like walks over to our trash compactor and starts digging through the trash compactor, like looking for something or we don't know what. And then he walks back down the street to the next complex over. So Corey being the person that he is was really kind of curious to see what this grown man was doing. So he, um, I'm going to go in with my Dominique cosmetic setting powder. You guys know I love to use this to blend out powder. So he walked over to where the bushes were and there is a, he walked over to where the bushes are and he looked down and there is a huge, massive pile of shit. I mean like massive pile of shit. So he's like, are you freaking kidding me? So I was like, ew, that's so disgusting. This man just walked over and like took a poop in our bushes. He said, yes. So he brings the dogs back and we decided to take the video evidence to um, our leasing office and we let them, kind of, I walked in and they're like, oh my gosh, hi, how can I help you? And I was like, okay, I have lived here for years and this is probably gonna be the oddest thing I'm ever gonna have to say to you guys. I said, what's up? I said, you, there is a, gr I said, there is a grown ass man walking over to the sign right over here in the bushes and he's taking his shit. And they're like, what? And I said, I'm not kidding. There's a man that has been walking over here taking his shit. I saw him yesterday, but I didn't think anything of it. I just saw him walking in the bushes, not thinking anything of it. But then my husband today captured him on film, like taking his shit. And so they said, no way. So we showed them videotape and they were like, oh my gosh, because Corey not only videotaped the guy getting up, but then he videotaped walking over there and you see said poop. So they said, ah, what? And so we told them the story and they were just as dumbfounded as we were witnessing the whole situation. Cause like who would expect to see something like that? So they said, we're so sorry. Um, we can't believe you had to witness that. And I said, it's not your, your guys' fault. Like you guys didn't do anything. This is like this grown ass man's fault for like pooping in the bushes. So we reported the incident. They asked us to send it to them so they can send it to corporate and so that they can keep an eye, send it to maintenance and say, hey, maintenance, please keep an eye if you see this guy. So I'm not kidding. The very next day, I get up early and I have to, I'm, I get up early and Corey gets up early and he goes to work and he's like, oh, do you want any Starbucks? And I said, no, I'm okay. But I had to go pick up a UPS package. So I was like, oh, you know what? Let me go ahead and head out to go pick up a UPS package. So as I got in my car, I started to leave my complex and I saw this man walking towards the bushes. And I said, you have got to be kidding me. This man is here again. So this time I saw him walking on the street. I completely, I, I pulled into the complex next to me and I did a U-turn. And then I slowly followed this guy who did not care that I was there follow this guy and I pulled out my camera and I started, this sounds so creepy, but like what choice do I have? I'm going to go into the shade called um, Starry right here. I pull out my camera and I start like videotaping this man just to see maybe what is he doing. And you see him walk over to the bushes yet again. This time you see him standing there and you can tell that he's doing something because like he like has his arms like right in front of me, like holding something. And I can clearly tell this man's ping. And then you see him turn around and squat back down again. And I said, Oh my gosh. So I immediately floor it and I go to my leasing office and he's doing it like right outside the leasing office, mind you. And this is like literally like eight o'clock in the morning. So that my leasing office isn't open until nine. So I knew there's going to be no one there, but I thought maybe just maybe there would be some sort of manager that's in the office that's just getting their day started. Right. This is a beautiful shade, by the way. And um, I'm going to go into the shade called Festive because I just kind of want to add another shimmer just to help blend that together. And so I immediately start like knocking on the door and no one answers. So then I see this guy like stand up and pull up his pants and walk over to the compactor again and start digging through our trash. So I immediately start banging on the door. Just maybe hopefully someone's there. And then my maintenance dude actually happened to open the door. He's like, what's wrong? What's wrong? And so I said, the poop bandit's here. And he said, what? I said, the poop bandit, the guy that's been pooping is here. He goes, he's here. And I point him out to um, my maintenance guy who immediately runs over to see what this guy's deal is. And this guy quickly sees my maintenance guy, puts his hands up. And my maintenance guy is like, what is it that you're doing? And he tells my, tells my management dude that he is just trying to find an empty box to take back to his complex. 
And since my, since my maintenance guy didn't see this guy pooping, what could he really say? I, I saw you pooping in the bushes. You know what I mean? Like, what can you really say in that situation? So uh, the guy quickly scurries off and goes back to his complex. And I show my maintenance dude. I said, here's all the videos that we have been taking of this guy taking a shit. And it just sounds so freaking weird. Like, I sound like such a creeper. But I'm not trying to be. But, like, this is just the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Like, the weirdest freaking thing. That I've ever seen. So I showed the maintenance guy and he asked if I sent it to him. So I said it's short. And so I sent him all the videos that we have of this guy. My maintenance guy decides to go to the complex next to me because he knows the maintenance guys that are over there. And he shows them the videotape. Now I leave, I go to the UPS store, I come back, but I see my maintenance guy and he's waving my car down before I pull into the complex. And I said, so sure. So I pull up to the front office and I said, hey, what's up? He said, so I just left, um, I just left the complex next door and I talked to the maintenance guy. They said, he is doing the same thing over there. I said, what? He goes, yep, the maintenance has caught him over there, going into the bushes, pulling his trousers down and taking a poop and peeing there as well. And they have him on camera. And I said, well, who is he? They said, they don't know, because I've never seen this guy before. Um, they don't know where he's at. I'm gonna go into the shade called Peace right here. They don't know where he lives at because they just see him scurrying out of the bushes and pretty much running and like disappearing and he like disappears before they had a chance to see where he lives. So they have no idea where this guy is coming from or anything like that. So the main, so the main, so my maintenance guy is like, can you please go in the office? They want to talk to you. And I said, sure. So I go inside the maintenance office again. I go inside the leasing office and the main, the property manager's there and she's asking for me to send them all the tape because they pretty much are saying at this point, they want to trespass this guy for, um, defecating on private property they want to trespass him and they want to get him arrested because he's exposing himself and the worst part of what this guy's doing is where this guy's taking a poop like he's right here my leasing office is my thumb there is a bus stop right here where kids are at to get on the morning bus so if they were just to look over to the left they will see this guy and they will see what this guy is doing so he is essentially exposing himself at this point yes he's behind bushes but there are still children present okay this was like such a weird thing that we had to sit here and get involved with. so then we had to call our um officer that lives on property and tell him everything that's going on saying hey there's this guy that is defecating in our property and we need to trespass him and get him essentially arrested for decent indecent exposure pooping on private property and exposing himself in front of minors so the the officer is like can you please give me all the evidence and so i have to give him the evidence and now i'm involved in the situation and they're like we're so sorry that you have to deal with this and i said am i the only one coming in with my husband they said you're the, you're the only one that has seen this and i said how is this possible this guy is here around eight o'clock every morning he's right there so <laughs> I give him all the information. The um, officer has to take down my information and get all the evidence. And I'm like, this is just the weirdest thing. And they said that next time I see this guy, they want me to call the cops and immediately alert our officer we have on property so they can come and detain him until the cops get there. Um, by the way, I think this is looking super freaking pretty. I am loving this look so far. This, this is performing so nicely. I don't know how well the dual chrome is coming off on camera, but it is looking so freaking pretty to me. Like you can see the, the light blue to purple. Oh my gosh, it is freaking stunning, 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 stunning. So what I'm gonna quickly do before I finish the story, I'm just gonna go ahead and do the other eye off camera. And then we are going to um, come back and I'm gonna finish telling you guys this story because it's not over. Not the lashes and everything on, we're gonna go into primer. So I'm gonna take this Yate. This is the Watermelon Burst Hydrating Primer. This was sent to me in PR from them and this is a hydrating and pore refining primer. Um, so this says this instantly refreshes and moisturizes before makeup. This instantly refresh and moisturize before makeup application with Ciate Lendis Watermelon Burst Hydrating Formula. Featuring watermelon extract drop droplets to quench and hydrate, the pink jelly base actively brightens whilst refining pores. Delicately watermelon scented, this unique aqua serum primer grips foundation for long wear with an added glow. So I sent this in PR, which is still really weird that I got PR from them. It's like never really get PR from them. So this is super cool. I'm super, super excited. So anyway, to finish the story about the poop bandit. So after giving all my information, oh, look all these like, like beads are in there. Interesting. Wow, that smells incredible. Oh, wow. Okay, it's like putting dirt on my face. <laughs> so after getting all the information to our um, officer that lives on property, I head home and then I kind of think nothing of it because 
Well, it's the weirdest situation I've ever been put in. Like, I, I have to keep seeing this poop bandit that just keeps mysteriously disappearing. No one knows where he lives. No one knows his name, nothing. He just comes over, like takes a shit in our bushes in the complex next to us and then just freaking disappears. So I did not think anything of it. I kept an eye out for this guy for the last two weeks. Well, earlier this week, I was walking to my mailbox and my maintenance guy is like, hey, Allie. I was like, hi, how are you? He goes, um, have you seen the poop bandit here? And I said, no, I haven't seen him like two weeks. He goes, good. I said, why did something happen? He goes, he got caught. And I said, what do you mean he got caught? He goes, well, it didn't happen here, but maintenance has been keeping an eye out over at their property. But maintenance from the next property has been keeping an eye out for this guy because he has been pooping in their bushes and they're tired of catching it. They have him on camera too. Um, by the way, my skin feels super like not slimy, but very, very wet feeling. Um, it was a very wet feeling, but it definitely is drying down. So we'll have to see how how long, how much I like this. We're gonna definitely keep trying this out. I'm gonna go in with just my Revlon. This is the long wear foundation. I just feel like this would be really pretty today. I'm gonna try out this face brush. Normally I don't do brushes for foundation. I stri strictly stick to sponges, but we're gonna try this out because this is a foundation brush. Let's just see how this applies. But anyway, so I was talking, I was talking to him and he said that he got caught because he was at the next complex and he was taking a poop in the bushes and the maintenance people caught him red handed and they demanded to know what he was doing. And he said that he was so sorry, but the reason why he was taking a poop in the bushes is because it's a culture thing for him, like a culture thing. And um, I'm gonna go over with a damn sponge just to be good. And we're all like a culture thing. He goes, yeah, he said it was a culture thing. That's why he was taking a poop in the bushes because it's what his culture does. So all of us were just like completely dumbfounded because like there are bathrooms at both complexes that you can go to without necessarily even needing to like live there, if that makes any sense. Like they're public bathrooms, but he said it's a culture thing and they don't know if he lives there because he refused to say where he was at. But they did tell him that if they catch him again defecating on private property at either our property or at their property, they were going to arrest him for indecent exposure, for a defecation in, in a private property, and for indecent exposure in front of minors. So we haven't seen him since. They think that he might just be visiting a friend. They're not entirely sure. But it was just, like I said, the weirdest thing. I've never encountered anything like that in my life where I've had to go report like a man. Um defecating in her bushes like and like getting it on camera I don't know it was like such a bizarre situation that like I never expected to encounter or like deal with I don't know it was just so weird it was like just the weirdest thing I was just so floored that I was one of the few people from our property to be catching this on camera but thank god maintenance next door was catching it on their end as well and they were also documenting it because I was like I'm not crazy this guy is taking a poop <laughs> such a weird situation so we haven't seen him since but that's kind of like the story right now of the mystery man aka the poop bandit who is just going around both properties and literally defecating in our bushes on both properties and using the bathroom. And it has just been the weirdest thing that I've had to deal with since living here. And I've lived here for quite some time. I just never have seen anything like that before. So I do like this brush. I will say it's very, very soft, but I still do like kind of just going over my face with a sponge. I'm just more of a sponge girly when it comes to liquid foundations. But I will say this is super, super soft. Very nice, very, felt really nice on the face. I like that. So for concealer, I have nothing new for concealer. We're just gonna go in with the Makeup by Mario. This is the Makeup Serum Concealer. I absolutely love this concealer. It is is one of my favorites. We're just going to quickly apply this where I do conceal before we move on to the next products. All right, so I'm just kind of blending that out with the um, FO2 brush. I really like this for getting underneath the, I really like this for getting into all the nook and crannies underneath the eye. Super freaking nice brush for that. I really do enjoy that. So for bronzer, we're going to go into the Milk Makeup. This is going to be the Dazed Liquid Bronzer right here. So I'm going to be very gentle when I take this out because this lid just like, I don't know how to take this off without breaking the whole product. Oh, there we, there, there we go. There we go. All right. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to go just right down here on the face. I'm going to quickly just line this out. And then I'm going to take the, 
F01 brush. And I'm gonna to start to just stamp this in. I know this is more like the foundation brush because it's a little bit more dense, but I wanted this to be more for like my um, bronzer because I like a little bit more of a dense brush for blending out bronzer. I just really think it's really good for that. Really do enjoy that aspect of it. I know that you can like kind of, you can kind of do whatever you want when it comes to these brushes. You can use them for whichever way you've been, you see most fit. I just kind of prefer doing uh, a more denser brush for blending out bronzer for them foundation personally. Like I know that this isn't going to be more for like a foundation brush, but this is like more like an all over powder brush, but I just kind of wanted to use something a little bit more dense for the foundation. I mean, for the bronzer. Really, really do love milk makeup products. They are so freaking good. Okay. So moving on to, um, Blush. I do have two blushes right here that I did pay for myself. These are the um, P. Louise X Michaela blushes. So originally I bought these because I was going to buy the full collection, but then I ended up returning it. Six charged six dollars more than what I should be paying, be paying for. So I asked them to do a ref like a partial refund. They said no. So I asked them to cancel the order, but they were only able to cancel one order. They still shipped out the other one. It was a whole fiasco. I talked about this several times. So unfortunately I still ended up getting these ones and I didn't return them because it was going to cost me about $37 to return them back to England when I only paid 47 for them. So realistically, I just, just kept them because it just would not be feasible financially to return these. So I have them right here. Um, we have these two flirty flush of color. These are two liquid blushes. We have a pink and a purple. Like I said, these are the Michaela ones. I've never tried these products from P. Louise, so I don't really know how the quality is, nor do I really know how to properly apply this. Do I twist it in some sort? No, do I just, this is like, how did, this is so hard to get out. What? So I have this pink one. That's gonna look like so. Wow, Michaela looks easy. Make these look so easy on her TikTok. This is not that easy. And then we have a purple one. So pink and purple. I think I'll go for the pink. Um, I'm gonna be try to. I'll try to be very light when applying these. Um, so I don't know. Do I just? I'm just gonna do it on my sponge to be safe. Cause I don't want to overdo it. So I'm just gonna put some on my sponge actually right here and we're just going to lightly put this right here oh wow this is a very pale pink very very pale pink but it is blending out nicely it's just very much a very very light pale pink wow okay i think on that one a little bit does go a long way for that one. Okay, so let me just do the other side. I see her usually apply these like directly like on her cheek, but I don't trust myself. Usually whenever it comes to liquid blushes, I tend to do too much or I apply too much and then it just looks horrible on me and it just gets everywhere. So I'm just gonna go more for like the safety factor this time and be very light with it. So we're just, that's what we're doing. We're just gonna be very, very, very light. This is definitely not a bad product, but like, how do I close this without it getting everywhere? Like, does it close? Okay, well, I just wiped it because I didn't know what else to do. But like, look how much product I just wiped from that brush. Ugh, that's a lot. That's a waste. <laughs> so I'm just gonna quickly set my face. I'm gonna set my face with the Lunar Beauty Luniversal um, setting powder because I did get this in PR a while back. So I'm gonna go ahead and just set my face with this. You know what? I'm gonna kind of vent to you guys a little bit. So um, a lot of people at my old job are really sick right now. So there are a lot of call outs. And so there are a lot of holes at my job and uh, they don't have enough on calls to call in to fill in those, hole those holes. So this is one of those situations that a lot of my coworkers slash friends were kind of bitching to me about this morning. And like, there is still a part of me that gets a little frustrated whenever I hear that because I have offered to go back numerous times to help them out, but I can't give them what they want. Like I know they wanted full on availability. They wanted weekends and I can't give them what they want without sacrificing what I want in return, which is to be a content creator here on YouTube because essentially um, with what they're asking for, I would have to give up YouTube because I wouldn't be able to do, I wouldn't be able to do what I do now where I can film four to five videos a week. I would have to pretty much give that up and give them full availability and their full availability can be scheduled me anytime. So I wouldn't have a consistent schedule here on YouTube. And, and then every time I said, okay, well, I'm willing to be flexible. I'm willing to work with you. They pretty much just ignored me. So a part of me will always be just a little bit better. I still love that place. I go there all the time and I still love people that are there, but I'm still like a little bitter because like, I don't know, because like, I offer to go back and they've kind of adorned me and then knowing that they need help, I'm just kind of like, 
I could have helped you, but I digress. I digress. It is what it is. Um, I'm going to go into this color pop. This is a pressed powder blush. I got this in a little, um, PR box. It's sent for the holidays. It's called Flamingo. I've never used this before. So I'm going to go in with, um, my brush from bling brushes. I'm just going to kind of tap this in here and it's very, very light pink. So I feel like it's going to set nicely on top of like the already pink blush we have been P, P Louise. So I'm just going to go ahead and set this right here. But yeah, I'm a little like, I don't know. I guess I was just a little frustrated when my coworkers kind of, when my friends were telling me this morning. So I was like, I could have been there to help. I, I could have helped. And now I'm kind of like, well, I guess you guys are on your own. Like there's nothing I can do. I, mean, I can't force them to hire me back, but yeah, it just sucks. Cause I know, I know that next month I'm going to have to start somewhere new and I'm just kind of like, oh, I just wish I, could, I can go back to the place that like I've been at for like almost 12 years. So I know everybody there and I'm not gonna know anybody here at this, at a new place when I, wherever I start. So I'm just kind of like, you know, so I do have some, I do have two new highlighters. So I got this, um, mineral wear diamond dust from physician formula, but I also got this Lottie London highlighter right here. And then I do have the Michaela one right here as well with P Louise. So let me swatch these to see what they look like. I was so surprised when physician formula sent me anything in PR because we well, guys know that I shot the brand. So I was so surprised when I got something like, wait, what? Like y'all sent me something. They were super sweet. So this is how this looks. Um, a very, very, very light pigment. I don't know if that's going to like work for me today. So it's like very light. You see that very pretty, but super, super light. I think I'm like something with a little bit more like icy pop. Then we have this one from Lottie London. Again, I've never gotten PR from them. So I was surprised that I got some from PR too. Cause I'm like, how are you guys like finding me? This is so cool, but like so weird at the same time. So I'm just not used to it. So here we have this Lottie London. This is a illuminating highlighter. Let's see how this looks. Okay. So it's kind of like the same thing. It's very, very light. Both are like very light. That's Lottie London. That's Position Formula. All right, let's try the Michaela one. Let's see what Michaela one looks like. The P. Louise. Now this is the one I paid for. This is not PR right here. So the P. Louise Michaela one looks like so. Let's try this one out. Oh wow, it definitely has a bit more of an icy feel. What if I just kind of like mix them and just kind of go for it? I think maybe that's what we'll do today. So I'm gonna take um, the F07 brush from Singe Beauty. And I'm gonna go ahead and just lightly take the P. Louise from Michaela. And I'm gonna start to just lightly place it right here. It's like this like icy blue. But yeah, they, they were like, I don't know. I guess if they were like, would have called me today, I would have gone in and helped them out. But it is what it is. We'll see what my next journey brings me wherever life, we'll see what my next journey brings me wherever I get my next job at. So we shall see. That's actually really pretty, but I think I'm gonna spice it up just a little bit. So I'm gonna go in with my, my, my brush and bling brushes. We're gonna go into the Lottie London one, but I'm also gonna take a little bit of the Physician Formula and I'm just gonna start, start to put this right here as well. Whoa. Wow, that like added a lot extra. Do you see that? Wow. Okay, cool. That looks actually really nice. I'm gonna quickly set the face. I'm gonna go with the Physician Formula. This is a diamond mineral. This is a this is a mineral wear diamond setter. This is a long lasting setting spray. This is a weightless, iridescent, all over the spray, all over setting spray designed to instantly lock in makeup for all day wear without melting, fading, or settling into fine line. It does have a lustrous diamond dust that creates a light diffusing blur, the least translucent veil of lumosity. So my least favorite product, but we're gonna still try this because I am so excited to try out anything that, that they gave me. And you can definitely see there's some buildup at the bottom, but I'm curious to see how this look on the face. It looks like I sprayed white, white stuff all over my face. Oh, okay. We might've messed up, but we're just going to still make this work. Okay. So before we finish off my eyes, I do want to figure out what I'm going to do for my lips. So I got sent over some brand new juicy lip oils from Jean-Luc Cosmetics. I really do enjoy this brand a lot. The owner is incredibly sweet and these are the brand new juicy drip lip oils it says i'm so excited to try my new i'm so excited for you to try my new brand these are the juicy drip lip oils formulated with jojoba oil for the ultimate hydration they'll nourish your lips all day while providing a mirror like shine as always all of our products are free of artificial fragrance and the effort to make them accessible for everyone i can't wait to hear your thoughts all my love jean luke and there's gonna be eight different shades 
that we have in here. So I'm gonna definitely try these out. Um, they look so freaking cool. I already went ahead and swatched them for you guys. I'm so excited to give these a go. Um, so like my face is dry, but do we see this right here? There is like white powder just settling on my face. What the heck? Okay, so before I do the lips, I'm gonna quickly just set my brows. This is the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Gel Setter. Freaking love this brow setter right here. I'm gonna set my brows, but like what is going on with my face? What if I take this and I just kind of like, oh my God, that doesn't do anything. That's not getting rid of the dots. Oh no. Oh no. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Okay. All right. Maybe before we move on to lips, I'm gonna try to let this settle down because that there's white stuff all over my desk. What is in this? Well, I'm gonna quickly finish off underneath my waterline really fast. I'm just gonna go in with a um, child right here and we're gonna blend it out with this shade called Twinkle right here. I cannot believe this is happening. What the heck? Okay, so let's go in with child. Oh, it's all over my forehead. Oh no, what did I just do? Okay, so for underneath the eyes, I just went in with like a blue um, eyeliner. So we're gonna go back in this palette one more time. I'm gonna take the shade called Bright right here. And we're actually gonna put this in the inner corner because I feel like this would be really pretty just to add a little extra touch of gold. I don't know, I just feel like I'm really just gonna be living for this look right here. So let's try this out. God, yes, 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 yes. That's exactly what I want. So freaking pretty. And then I'm gonna take the... Um, shade called frosty right here and we're actually going to put this above our brow bone like really pretty shade just gonna put this just right here it's like a purple white iridescent shift so freaking pretty moving on to gloss like i said quite a few glosses to kind of figure out which one i want to use i think i might do more of like a neutral one which would probably be the shade called would you not? It's like this really dark one, but it has like a brown undertone to it, which I feel like would be really pretty for like a neutral lip moment, like so. So I'm gonna quickly just throw on some, I'm just gonna quickly throw on like a brown lip. Um, Cause I feel, like that would, I feel like that'd be really pretty with this. She did swatch all the Jean-Luc Cosmetics lip oils. So if you guys wanna check that out, head over to my TikToks. I did a little reel for you guys there. But I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips. We're gonna go in with the Jaclyn Cosmetics. This is the Toasty Lip Liner. We're gonna line my lips with this. And then I'm gonna fill it in with the Jaclyn Cosmetics. This is the uh, Be Bold Liquid Lip. Such a gorgeous color. I don't even think they make this anymore. If I'm, I can't find an Ulta's website. It might be on Jaclyn Cosmetics. I'm not entirely sure. This is like such a gorgeous, gorgeous brown. Okay, so while this dries down, I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face with the Milk Makeup. I got another one of these in PR. Um, I don't know what happened with the Physician Formula one, but that's still like left like white powder on my face. I don't, like look at this. Oh no. So what I'm gonna do for my lip oil, I guess I'm gonna go into the Jean-Luc Cosmetics. We're gonna go into the shade called Would You Rather? And this is gonna be classified as a deep tinted brown, such sexy and sultry, what more do you need? I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips with this. I feel like this, I'm gonna go ahead and fill my lip, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my lips. I feel like this is gonna be such a pretty color on top. Oh uh, yeah, like it's just going to enhance this brown lip, yes. All right guys, and this is the final look. All right, guys, and this is the final look. So I'm gonna quickly just do a quick rundown. So up first, we do have the Ciate London Watermelon Burst Hydrating Primer. At first, this goes on like very like wet-like and silky, but it does dry down rather quickly, and it does have a nice little tackiness to it, and it smells incredible. I'm definitely gonna have to keep trying this out, though, because this is a hydrating, and it's supposed to have a little bit of glowiness to the skin. You guys know I'm not the biggest fan of that, but we're gonna have to keep trying this out to see what I really feel of it. So this is just first impression. I do like it. Um, I'm not gonna go over the foundation or concealer or setting powder because like you guys know I really love those along with like the Milk Makeup Bronzer. I really do love Milk Makeup Bronzer. These are so easy to work with. They blend incredibly. They just melt into the skin and I really think using the um, F01 brush to really pat this in just ah oh, so freaking gorgeous. I really love this combination a lot. 
Then we do have the uh, cheeks of it. It's a Ferdy Flush of Color from P. Louise. This is my first time trying a P. Louise like face product. Normally I'm used to their eyeshadows and I really do enjoy their eyeshadow quality. So I never tried their face product. I will say I don't like the application. Like I could tell this is one of those applications. Like this is just gonna get messy. Like look at that. I literally close this and it's already, it's already like filling in. Like I don't understand. I hate products like this. I just, I don't know. I can never get into it because there's no way to like lock it to make sure you know product doesn't seep out but it's already seeping out. And I just, I never, never, never like products like this, but somehow yet people do. And I can't, I, you know, I don't knock you for it. It's just, these products just don't really work for me, but I will say this is really easy to blend and work with. So I'm quite impressed with that. So I'm gonna keep trying these out. Um, the Lottie London highlighter. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. This is like a great topper. Like I feel like it's one of those ones because of how sheer it is. Like you just want to add this like as a little bit of illuminator to the skin, to the highlighter, to like an eye look. This would be really, really pretty for that. I was actually quite impressed. Same thing with the Diamond Dust. It's like the same exact thing where you just want to add this as like a topper on top of an eye look or like just like pat it onto the cheek. You don't want to add it as like a full on highlight because it's not going to give you that pigment that you're looking for, but it just adds as a great topper. Very gorgeous. Like super excited to keep playing with this. And then we have the P. Louise highlighter right here. Very, very, very pretty highlight. It's a pretty highlight. And I really like the formula of this, so I can't, I can't say anything bad about it. <laughs> just like the ColourPop um, powder, just like the ColourPop blush right here, it's a very pretty, like soft baby pink blush. I think this blends really beautifully onto the skin. It worked very well with that Michaela blush that we just used. Then of course we do have the Silent Night palette from Gourmand Girls and Doodle by the Bunny. This is super free freaking gorgeous. This will probably be ranked pretty high next year for my Christmas palettes because this is truly just so freaking beautiful. I love the eye look. I love the formula. Everything about this was so freaking pretty, very easy to work with. I really do enjoy this. And to me, oh my God, it screams like the perfect Christmas palette. Perfect like Christmas Eve, Silent Night, Winter Wonder palette. It is gorgeous. We do have the Diamond Spray right here from Physician Formula. Oh. I think I might pass on this. I'll try it again, but this literally like left like white powder all over the face. And I tried blending it out as best I can, but I could still see pretty much white dots everywhere. So I don't think I'm a big fan of this at all, which is really sad because I want to like it, but I just don't think it's gonna work for me. And then we do have the Jean-Luc Cosmetics. These are the Juicy Lip Oils. These are so freaking pretty. They are very high shine. They are rather pigmented, by the way. They have no flavor to them. Um, they have no taste to them. They have no scent to them, so they have no flavor to them. They're very comfy on the lips. I really do enjoy like how nice it feels. It kind of reminds me of like the Blend Bunny Cosmetics Lip Oils. Very similar in formula. Really, really like these. I'm excited to keep playing with these ones. So. Overall, those are all the products that I've tried so far in today's video. I do have a few more products like sitting in front of me that I haven't tried. Like I have this um, Mineral Wear Diamond Metallic Eye Chrome Shift. I have some more Lottie London products, some more ColourPop products I haven't had a chance to try. So we'll try that out next week because in next week's video, I'm going to be doing a um, chatty get ready with me. I have some, some things to talk about like failed sponsorships and whatnot to talk about you guys in next week's video and that's just gonna be a fun get ready thing I have some makeup trying that one as well but I want to tell you guys today about the poop bandit story because it's just the most oddest thing and I just had to share with my friends. That is it for today's video, guys. Like I said, I won't be here the rest of the week. I will have a makeup declutter marathon for you guys, but I won't be here because I'll be celebrating Paige and Jarvis at their wedding along with Christmas with my family. So I'll be back next week with a fun chatty get ready with me, a massive book declutter, new makeup releases, and more. So hope you guys stay tuned to that. And for everyone out there who does celebrate Christmas, I hope you guys have the best Christmas season. And if you don't, I hope you have the best weekend ever. So with that said, that is it for today's video, guys. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already, because I do post four to five videos every single week. Make sure you guys head over to my other channels, R for the Life, you guys get to see my cool, wonderful adventures, my amazing husband, Corey. And as always, the biggest thank you goes to these beautiful, wonderful Payton members you guys see right here. Thank you guys so much for everything. And to my subscribers and viewers, thank you guys so much for being here. Whether you guys like this video, you guys thumbs down this video, you guys subscribed, you guys did not subscribe either way, Thank you guys so much for being here. I love and appreciate each and every single one of you. So with that said, guys, I love you. And I'll see you guys in my very next video.